Edmonton police are asking for your help tonight to find out who did this. A beech tree set up in the sand for the holidays, set on fire. The person responsible even left a butane canister behind. The tree was put up by the Barrington Lions Club for people to visit and write messages on seashells. But someone who stopped by this morning noticed that the tree had been burned. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us from Barrington with how the community has stepped up to help. The Barrington Beach tree is a symbol of joy during the holidays, but in the last day, someone set it on fire and completely destroyed it. That is until a generous donor stepped in with a new one. Sitting on Barrington Beach is the town's own beach tree. Take the two ends and then tie it really tight. Decorated with special personalized seashells. The messages that people put on here are Heartfelt, yes, it's Christmas, but also there's a lot of remembrances. There's a lot of deep personal meaning to the names. Cat Horn is president of the Barrington Lions Club, the volunteer service organization that's put up the tree the last two holiday seasons. She says there's always a steady stream of people stopping by. Please, please, this is this is what it's all about. Visitors on Thursday shocked when learning what happened to the tree just hours before. There you go. Somebody burned down the tree this morning. No we, way. Yeah, no. over half of it was charred and just completely burned. A lot of people's ornaments that they had put on were burned. The charred remains first spotted Thursday morning by a resident. They discovered this morning when they came down to put a remembrance on the tree that it had been vandalized and they were so heartbroken that they did something about it. Within six hours, that resident ordered a brand new tree and even had it delivered to the beach. A group of volunteers put it up and managed to salvage some burnt shells. This tree means a lot to this community, and I think until this morning it didn't really hit me just, um, you know, it hit me how much it really means to people. Barrington police say they don't have any suspects, but Horn says it doesn't even matter. What does matter is what happened after. I don't want to focus on whoever did it. I, I want to focus on what's here and what we have now to enjoy. Kindness and joy overwhelms uh, stupid acts of vandalism. Reporting in Barrington, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.